how you doing today? You know, it's such an honor to be talking to you. Um, I truly believe that you are a movie legend, and it's just such an honor to be sharing this time with you for sure. Oh, thanks. I appreciate. It. So you play a supporting role, but it's one of the most important in um, George's story and um, just life in general. Uh, what were some of the things that you had to do to prepare for, like you know, just getting this role together and like playing Doc Wright? Well, <clears throat> there's a documentary that was that was about him. And in the documentary, he, he talks, it's mostly an interview-driven do documentary. So it's about an hour or two of him moving around, following him into his place, going to his house, listening to what he had to say. And that really helped me figure out just the way he was thinking. Started watching some boxing again, just to like get my head ready, just to get my, my thoughts in order. And then slowly it started to, once I put all these things together, the walk, the move, the thinking, that's, then I start to merge and it just happens. Absolutely. Uh, what were some of the things that you like had to do physically to prepare for this role or mentally or, you know, outside of just watching the doc and, you know, reading the script and stuff like that? Well, let's see, mentally, mentally, I guess I was trying to figure out what his dreams and aspirations were and stuff, you know, doc on his own. What he, I mean, he's, he's, he's trying to like help like as a mentor. And that was like important for me to try to understand but as a teacher, but uh, what what does he want, you know? And I think there is, a, there is a goal that's passed, like making sure that these kids go in the right direction. It's like also looking to, to leave a legacy, to leave behind a legacy. And I guess he gets to do that with George. Him and George get to do that together. George, of course, is still alive, but it was a great, great experience, actually. Absolutely. And then speaking of um, being alive, um, and not to age or anything, but you were alive during a lot of the time of the most important events, like the Frazier fight, the um, the Ali fight, like the comeback in the 80s. So what was it like for you to experience that in real life as like a viewer and then to come in here and then recreate some of those things and like recreating the 70s, recreating the <laughs> 80s? Like, What was that like for you? It was amazing. You know, you're right. That was the time when I was watching boxing. And as a kid, <laughs> we talked about it around the, you know, around the couch and, and dinner mm -hmm. and everything. It was like a big, big deal. And uh, I guess stepping into it is one thing like meeting George, also like it's like a legendary kind of thing. But I think when the boxers would be training and stuff and getting ready, I'd say, oh, he looks, he, he does look like Frazier. But he doesn't look like Frazier, you know, like, looks like, you know, and that was... That was a uh, kind of an exciting little part of it, side drop, on uh, on 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 how I was feeling as well, and it excited me. Absolutely. And what's one final thing that you want people to take away from this movie? I think the angel of is perseverance. That you can know that if you continue to believe and you work hard, that you can achieve your goals. You know, that the notion is to believe, to believe in anything's possible. All right, that's all I got. Thank you so much for it, sir. I really, really appreciate you.